It has taken a lot of work to get this place livable almost every day for two months. There's the highway. Dirt road up. There's the front yard. Big oaks everywhere. We live in an oak grove. And there's our little house. 100 years old. Registered in 1899. The garden Christina and I are working on. Front door. Done all the mowing around here, cleaning up. It was kind of a, a mess when I showed up. I'm going to enclose this entirely. It's going to be an enclosed laundry room. That's going to be my garage for the motorcycle. That over there is my covered work area. It's all messy right now because we're still setting up the house. Lots of empty boxes. Our deck. A mowed backyard. All of this was over three feet tall when I got here. All the grass everywhere. This is where we park our cars. That's the trailer I got. Redneck one-ton truck right there. $300. Mowed all of this. We run on propane here. Up there is the deliverance shack. That's where we stored all our stuff that doesn't fit in the house. I made it watertight. And I made the outside look like an old Kentucky shack. Yes, Bob. Kentucky Bob is my inspiration for this. He doesn't live in a shack, but I kind of want to be a hillbilly these days. Turning around, looking back. And there's a little enclosed garden up here that we've been working on. I just shot the head off of another rattler. It was a small one. That's the fourth rattlesnake. All this is mowed low so that we can see them and to expand my perimeter. So I pushed my perimeter out to where it's mowed there. See, and there's the oak grove. Oaks everywhere. Gorgeous place. And then we've got these gates that shut up tight and you come into our garden area. I set up the fountain recently. Christina started gardening. There's a little bit more storage. We need all the storage we can get. So there's three tiers for gardening here. Those are grapes all the way around. There's a little bit of what it looks like here on the outside. 